Right, so I'm just gonna cut straight to the point here. Uh, how do you export or render out a .mp4 video file from After Effects? Um, after you've done your finish with your animation over here, then in the timeline, you can go into composition, hit on add to render queue uh, on the output module, head over to format and then select H264. That's gonna give you a, a direct export of the video file out as an mp4 file. And now you can go over here and change more of the uh, settings. Uh, usually you can stick with VBR, uh, bit rate as high as you can, 14 is good enough. And yeah, uh, hit OK. Uh, check all the other settings as well. And then I'm gonna select a target folder for uh, this video file to be rendered on. I'm gonna render it right next to this one. I'm gonna call it uh, straight from AE. And then hit render. Now he's just gonna wait and let it run this run uh, course over here. Uh, as soon as we get to 100%, that's when the uh, render is gonna be finished. So while this is uh, rendering out, I would like to point out that beforehand, if you want to render or, ex or export an animation as an MP4 file, uh, you're gonna have to export uh, the animation first and after effects as, a, as an MOV file or like a like a standard video file or something, and that's gonna take a lot of space. And then you're gonna have to jump in uh, Adobe Media Encoder or Premiere to re-export uh, it out uh, as an H.264 file, which uh, takes a lot of time, frankly. Yeah, and this feature is a warm addition to the 23rd, 2023 version of Adobe After Effects. So if you wanna get access to uh, H.264 rendering in After Effects. All you need to do is uh, head over to Creative Cloud and update to the latest version of After Effects. Okay, so once After Effects has finished the render, it's gonna kick out a video file for you over here. And this is the one that uh, I use Media Encoder to kick out. Uh, both are MP4 files and I'm gonna do a quick comparison. Okay, so in order to better serve the uh, quick quality check on these uh, renders, I've devised like a composition in Photoshop and over here I got the uh, re-rendered kick out with the usual media encoder Premiere Pro thing and over here I got the new one that we just kicked out straight from After Effects that we just got and this is the one that uh, usually gets kicked out as a standard render from After Effects as a .mov file. Overall, uh, they're looking pretty close to each other. This one looks like it might have a blue hue over here, but these two, you know, these two looks like they're most they're most alike to each other. You know, we got a uh, media encoder fan punching in the air right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I, I would say all three are pretty close to each other. And yeah, that's how you render out a .mp4 file from After Effects. See ya.